Hello, welcome back to Punisher's Paintball. If this is your first time here, welcome. I'm glad you found us. So, uh, for our beginner players, for our newer players out there, we're going to try to give you guys a little tip on what we think the best beginner setup would be for 2023 based on a lot of the gear that's out there. So, if you guys like this video, definitely drop a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel for more beginner content and more content as you get as you develop further in your paintball playing. And we'll catch you after the intro. I'm so free. All right, guys, so the first and probably most important thing you're going to want to get is going to be your paintball mask. This is the Carbon OPR, or Operator, I think is another name that they use for it. So based on the color that you get, that will alter the price that ranges from $40 to $65. This orange one specifically comes in at about $50. I actually think it's really sick. The cool thing about the Carbon mask, you'll find other masks that are in this range and very kind of beginner-looking-esque, but my thing is the foam you get on these is very high quality. This is up there with masks that are in the $200 range, in my opinion, and the lens you get on this is the same lens that you get on the high-end carbon mask, which is actually over $200. So you are getting a lot of really premium features packed into a mask that is not expensive at all. And you can also change and replace your foam. So essentially you can keep that mask as long as carbon keeps making lenses and foam for that thing. So awesome, love that. Very good first purchase. And that should be the first item that you buy. The next couple items that you should get, I would argue, is interchangeable between the tank or the loader. I'll start with the tank because it's right in front of me. This is compressed air. I do not recommend going for CO2 when it comes to modern day paintball. Just there's no need. Compressed air is much more accessible. It's much more affordable. It's cleaner. It helps with consistent velocity for your marker and it's just much better. Plus you also have this gauge which helps let you know how much air you still have left in your tank. So you're not just finding out when all of a sudden your marker starts going because there's not enough gas for it to actually recock itself since it's probably a semi-auto marker. So. This HK Army, this is one of their, it's, we call it a steel tank, it's not actually a steel tank, it's all aluminum, but this is one of their all metal tanks, it's 3,000 PSI output, so, um, or sorry, stored at 3,000 PSI, so it'll hold a little bit less than those other kind of more expensive compressed air tanks that store at 4,500, but you don't need to worry about that right now. The biggest thing is getting compressed air, because it's cleaner for your gun, and it'll give you a little bit cons more consistent velocity. The next item that you're going to want to get before you pick up a paintball gun is going to be a loader. Also, there's a lot of options for things that you can get. There was, I don't see it, ah, here we go. <clears throat> you can do something we call a shake and shoot. This is one from Proto. I don't remember the actual name, but I'll drop it here uh, below me. But this is one, there's no electronics in it whatsoever. This is just, you put paint in it and you let gravity take over and feed your marker. Should only be about five bucks. I'll, again, I'll drop the price below it, but these aren't very expensive and it's a really good budget option. But if you want to be able to achieve a slightly higher rate of fire, even if your marker is not electronic, might recommend the Pro Toys Speed. So you'll see here, it opens. Super wide opening so you can get your paint in there and not really miss too much. It is electronic and it only comes in at $65, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, yeah, $65 for the Pro Toy Speed. So <clears throat> very affordable because so far, guys, you are just under 200 bucks after all of this for these. Let me see. Yeah, because the tank is 50, the 65. Okay, so you are just barely over, sorry, 200 bucks to get these right here. And then finally, to put an actual paintball gun in your hands, I would recommend the Titman Stormer. This does share <clears throat> technology with the Titman 98, but I think it's a little bit more ergonomically friendly. It's a little smaller, uh, better for younger, newer players. This comes in at about 140. So you are under $400 to get on the paintball field before you actually go and buy entry, buy paint, all that good stuff. But I really do think this is gonna be a very good beginner setup for anybody who wants to get into paintball. If you do well with this for a year or two and you, you find you're going out more and more weekends and playing, that'll probably be time to look at some other things on the wall pick up maybe something that's a little more expensive, kind of improve your gear set, but just to get on the field and start playing. This is a totally respectable setup. Would love to see you guys get it from Punishers. Definitely let me know in the comments what you thought of this, if you actually ended up buying any of this stuff. Would love to know how it worked out for you. But guys, catch us in the next one. Make sure you subscribe and use the links in the description so that you can get any of the items that you see listed here from Punishers Paintball. Thanks. I'm so free. So free.